if s over y plus 20y over s is equal to 9, then s over y is equal to what? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of x over y from this given equation. We have x over y plus 20y over s is equal to 9. So what is the value of x over y? But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have x over y plus 20y over s equal to what? 9. Then from the left hand side here, let's find the s here. This implies that our ICM is we have xy. Let's see. y in sy remain x. S stands s is s square. Plus, here is x, x in xy remain y, y times 20y will be 20y square. Equal to what? 9. Then what we do next is let's cross multiply now. So, this implies that we have s square plus 20 y square equal to what 9 multiplied by x y because this is 9 over 1 and we have if you multiply 1 by the whole of this we have x square plus 20 y square then 9 times x y so this implies that we have x square plus 20 y square equal to what 9 x y then this implies that we have s square plus 20y square minus 9xy equal to 0. Now this equation can be rewrite as we have s square minus 9sy plus 20y square equal to 0. So what we we'll do next um, is that let's, we are looking for the value of x over y. Now let's divide both sides by what? y square. So this we are looking for the since we are looking for the value of x over y and this is x square minus 9xy plus 20y square. So let's divide all through by y square. This implies that we have x square over y square minus 9sy over y square plus 20y square over y square equal to 0. So here we have s over y all square. Here is y. We cancel one of this y. We are left with 9x over y minus 9x over y then plus this y square we cancel this y square 20 equal to 0 to make it more easier let's say we have s over y square minus 9sy plus 20 is equal to 0 let's let's say let s over y equal to p then this implies that we have p square minus 9p plus 20 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So let's solve by factorization method. This implies that we have p square minus 4p minus 5p plus 20 equal to 0. That is, if you have minus 4, times minus 5, it will give you plus 20. Minus 4, minus 5, it will give you minus 9. So, that's how we got that. This implies that we have P into P minus 4 minus 5 into P minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore, our P minus 5 
equal to 0 or p minus 4 equal to 0. Then from p minus 5, we have p. Now we will equal to what? 5. Or from here, we have p to be equal to what? 4. But we said x over y is equal to what? p. Therefore, our x over y is equal to 4 or x over y is equal to 5. Therefore, our final answer is x over y is equal to 5 comma 4. Remember again, from here we have, we have p minus 5 is equal to 0 or p minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, p is equal to 5 or p is equal to 4. But we say that if our p is equal to x over y, we have x over y is either 4 or x over y is equal to what 5. Therefore, our final answer is x over y is equal to 5 or 4. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.